What's up guys, Daz here, and welcome back to another episode of the Pub to Glory. This is episode number 6 now. I've gone through this pretty quick to be fair. This first season is nearly done. We have got the last month of fixtures to go through. But first off, let's quickly show you what happened last month. Um, we were inside the playoffs to start with. Uh, we drew 1-1 one -one against Stocksbridge. Um, so yeah, this game was just back and forth really. Um... Ryan got injured in the third minute, so I had to bring on Adam, but Mike in to centre off and moved out to the left back. Um, we can see the first, but then Mike scored a penalty. We finally solved the penalty drought, the scoring them, because, yeah, Mike scored. So, second game, this was just, this game was just annoying. Um, we were. We were absolutely fine until the last minute when Hogg decided to push someone over and then Nick Okoro scored his penalty. So well, that was the one loss which we did not need in this run up to the end of the season. Then 2-2 two -two draw against Sheffield. Um, we were very, very lucky in this game. Uh, we went behind twice, managed to equalise twice as well. But this penalty here, there was no need for it. Um, I can't remember who it was. I think it was Gerard who gave the penalty away, I think, if I remember rightly. Um, I was absolutely raging, but at um, the end of the day, it's just, it's just how football is. It's never as easy as you want it. And then, last game, this game was literally mental. Uh, they had a penalty, missed, uh, went 2 0 down right before half time. I was raging. Um, and then, second half, I just. I absolutely ranted at him and my score three got me in the eighty fifth minute winner. But Harry and Wardy's goals were they were top class really. Also guys, at the end of the video today I am also gonna be showing you the the new kits for next season. Well it's gonna be a vote. Um, I've got three home kits, three away kits, three third kits and basically I want you guys to help me choose what kits we have. These are the ones we've got at the moment. Um, I stuck to some similar colour scheme, um, but I wanted to add a third kit in there just just so uh, just just have something extra to wear rather than seeing these two constantly. Um, we also had a player leave us. Kieran Greatrex, the son of Mark who's currently in goal on this line up here, has left to go to Congleton for absolutely nothing. Um, so that'll pop up now. Um, he, don't, he wasn't. He wasn't getting enough, He wasn't getting game time with us. To be fair, so I don't really blame him leaving. To be fair, so yeah, let's into the first game of the episode, which is against Stamford, and hopefully try and get a win and try and get back into the playoffs. That's one thing I've got to mention. We dropped out the playoffs. <clears throat> um, we're only a point behind, so it's not like we're massively behind. The title is 11 points away. We're going to get 12, so I'm ruling that out. We aren't going to get the championship. But at least if we can get into the playoffs, I will be happy. So I'll see you when we get to that Stamford game. Here we are at the first game of the episode against Stamford. We're favourites. These are just below us. Um, so hopefully we can, we can beat them. Um, yeah, I don't really want to drop any more points now. Losing wise, I don't want to lose. Oh, draws, I don't mind, but I'd rather have the wins. So the lineup for today is going to be speeding goal with Josh, Al, Ward, and Easton at the back, with Mike, Flan, and Terry in midfield, with Burke, Harry, and Gabby up top. This was the format. This was the team I used for Speedy in the three-two win. So hopefully we can pull another score like that off. So, I'll see you in the game. And the game's kicked off. Stamford's attacking now, with Easton. Gabby, Gabby's through. Is that saved? No, he's just over. Just gone miles over. Good start, we've had an early attack. Just need to hope Sutton do drop points so we can overtake them and go into fifth. Flam with the throw to Gabby. Back to Flan, whips it in. Terry. Terry! That's his first of the season. 
What a banger to open your account as well. And what a time to do it as well. He's pushed us into the playoffs there. Can we stay there though? That's that's the main question. We really need to. But that's a brilliant goal there by Terry. We are dominating this match as well, to be fair. They already had one shot. 25 minutes gone. Let's let's set some passion into it, guys. Did we respond badly to that? Even though... Uh, this this team, they've been blowing me at times. These slides can be 1-0 at half-time. Is it going to be? And it is 1-0 at half-time. Ever since I said <laughs> we've been dominating, they've come back and they've really had to go at us. So, let's assertively say things are going to be capable of better. Let's get into the second half and let's try and keep hold of these three points now, boys. Sutton look like they have conceded a goal. So they are losing by the looks of things. Can't pronounce that winger's name, but they've headed over. Manyongo? I don't know. I think I've just butchered that name. Nothing much has happened in the second half. In our favour, anyway. Literally getting dominated. Here comes Burke's corner. Harry heads over. Unlucky. That's our first highlight in the second half. I'll go. Well, they've got, a, they've got a highlight now. It's a corner. It's blocked by Easton. Wardy's tackled. It's Gabby. Oh. It's getting excited then. But nothing happened. Right, let's make some subs. We'll bring Box on up top for Gabby. Actually, I'll leave him as a patron, actually. Uh, bring Key turn on for Flan. Swap them two round. I'm always I'm always bringing Terry off, so I'm going to leave him on for a bit longer. And yeah, so let's hope them changes can help us. If we get to like eighty fifth minute and we're still one 0 up, I'm going to go defensive and try and see it out. It's it has to be done now. It's just tactical play now. I need to do it. There we go. So we're going far at the back. Mike just drops into that back five. Can we see this win out? And we do see it out. We're back into the playoffs, boys. What a way to start the episode. Man of the match is Terry for that amazing goal he scored. He's actually pretty knackered as well. So, yeah, 1 0 win. We are going to praise him for that. Very nice victory. And yeah, I'll see you in the next game against a local team, Kids Grove. Just for the next game, I just wanted to quickly show you this. We had a youth intake not long ago. And we've got some really good youngsters coming through. So I'm just going to quickly show you the newbies. Since players have having offers coming in, I was like, I better start bringing in some youth into the squad. So we've got Andre Manuel, who is a left winger. You've got Connor Gregg, who is a right back, right wing back and a right attacking mid as well, which is handy. We've got Rowan Griffith. Um, Sean turned on to me and said that he's possibly better than Ryan in the future, so I had to bring him in. Mike, Hel Mike Helly, he is ideal for when Mark retires. This is the lad who... I mentioned, is it last episode? Or was the episode before that? Um, yeah, so that's that's that keeper. We've got <clears throat> David Ibe. He is a wing. He is he's left mid. I'm not going to start training as a last winger just so he can fit into the squad a bit easier. We've got Andras Zinko, who is a centre mid slash striker. So he would be very handy in the future. And that's it. So. They are the they are the lads who I'm looking at to bring up from the youth squad. The six, it's not too many coming in, but then it depends on how many players leave as well. So yeah, let's get to the game against um, Kids Grove now.
Here we are guys, into the game against Kidgrove. We did lose the previous game to these, so hopefully we can we can turn that around this time. Line up game with Josh we'll go Speedy, Josh, Al, Hog and Ryan at the back with Mike at DM, with Flan and Key in midfield, with Burke, Sonny and Gabby up top. Just to give just to give the team a bit of rotation. So let's get into the game and hopefully get a revenge on these. And the game against Kirchgrove is underway. Let's hope we can turn matters on the heads from the previous game. It was Anthony Melbourne who scored to export bail player, so hopefully we can we can keep him out this time. Josh with the throw into Burke. Burke Williams through. Saved by Hal. Right, let's let's show some passion, lads. We need we need as much passion as we can to get into these playoffs. Just need to solid solidify ourselves here. <clears throat> if we can get the end of this episode with the playoff place, I'll be I'll be I'll be buzzing. Like, I really will be buzzing. Josh and to Gabby. Burke. Flan. Over to Gabby. Keeps it in but gives it away. Oh, there's a mess up there. Gabby! 1 0! Get in! Come on, Gabby, that's his seventeenth of the season with no competitions. We're up to fourth now. Whew, this is this is getting good now. The next game as well is against Leek, who are in third, so we need to try our best to stay as high up as the league, in the league as possible. And as far away from Sutton Coalfield as possible. Because they are the team which can get us out of this relegation out of this um, playoff place. So get we'll let Sean have some words with them. So let's get into this second half. Hopefully maintain this lead. There's been nothing happening so far, so show some passion. We do need to show a bit of more bit more passion in this game. Just to push us over the line. So we'll make changes there, we'll close Melbourne down a bit more. Right, it's demand more from them. <clears throat> They're all focused, I love it. Absolutely love it here. Hog, up to Gabby. It's been headed away by Duffy. Hog, up to Gabby again. Gabby's through. 2 0 to the coach and horses. Get in. Absolutely loving this now. We are solidifying this win now. Let's make a sub. We'll bring Box on for Sonny. We'll bring Gerard in. Gerard has had an offer from some leagues high up as well, so we'll give him a bit of game time just in case he does leave. Hopefully he can give us a good a good sending off. So if we can get to the eighty fifth minute again. Succeeded. Right, so we are now going defensive. It's what we need to do to keep the win. Even though they have no chance of equalising, but I'd rather drop back to the five back just to solidify things and bring the three points home. And we have them. That is a massive win there. So, we're up to fourth. Four points ahead of Sutton Coalfield. We do have to play Leak next at home. So hopefully, the home advantage can help us out. I'll see you against Leak. Now this is what I want to see. Gerard has rejected Histon and Coles Hill Town to stay with the coach. That just shows how dedicated this man is. In game and in real life. Go on Gerard. <laughs> Here we are against Leek. Um, all game did get suspended last time. So. Um, we only, we're only a point. Away from securing the playoff place now. Leek. Don't need to win. They're already in there. So hopefully. They'll be a bit generous and. Help us out. That's what I'm hoping. They won't. But you never know. 
So let's get into the let's get into the screen here. This is this is the team we're gonna go with. I've got Speedy, Gerard, I sense he's decided to stay, he's starting as he's starting. Al Hog Rye, Mike Flan, Key, Burke, Sonny and Gabby. Actually no, I'm going to swap Harry and Sonny. Just because Sonny's a bit more tired. So yeah, let's get into this game and hopefully let's secure this playoff place. We really need to secure this now. And we are underway here. So, if it says like this, we're in the playoffs. I'll take a 0-0. I thought, I thought I'd never say that. But if we do get, if we do manage to get the points, I'm going to use the youth intake lads to go bring them up. Just give them a game. Because we have, we'd have a spare game, so why not? So going to ship, get them chosen passion. We've had no, we had no attempts on goal yet, which is absolutely shocking. We are literally <laughs> doing nothing. This is awful. It's almost like it's almost like we know that we only need a point, so we just aren't care, aren't giving a care in the world. Bot, whips it in. Stevenson, headed up and cleared by Hog. Oof, blow it out. That was a close one. So going to half time, we have been absolutely dominated. We are being battered by leak. So Sean, give him good words. Just go out here and try and just just try and tighten up really. That's all we need really. So what I'm going to do actually, it's gonna be really early to do this, but I'm going to go five at the back. Just to try and keep the draw. Right, well, clears. Flan. Stevenson. Plaques a leak. Whoops it in. It's a corner. I'm not liking this. Oh. Is that it? Okay. That's fine. I'll take that. So, I'm going to make a sub now. We'll bring Burke off a big pato on. Mean box on sorry. Um, we're going to we're going to do that after we've actually got three strikers on really. So there keep it too long. Why with the header into box? Keep box gives the ball away. Can I make a tackle? No, he's fired wide anyway. Luckily for us. Right guys, just keep it like this. Keep like this, and we've got a playoff place. We probably won't get out of the playoffs, but being in there is handy. Wolford to Tyford. Flag tackles. Boxes in. Oh, it's been tackled. Gerard, get down that right wing, son. Box! Oh, it's been saved. Keevan Taylor took the corner in. Flan, Al, Gabby. Strikes oh, it, Harry. Flan, Harry. Back to Flan. Rips it in. Boxes in. Head to Avery. Oh, we're getting so close now. We're just, we're just so close, we just can't get it in. Right, show some passion, boys. Stevenson. Gerard with a tackle. Clears it. Bexton. Townsend, the goalkeeper, he heaves it up. Gerard's intercepted, it's a flan, over to box. Box is through. 1-0! Get in! What a substitution that is. Get in! Go on, box. He has just secured us a playoff place. Absolutely massive. Bulford whips it in. Reeves. It's a free kick. Luckily, it's a for offside. Get in, boys. We're through. We're into the playoffs. Keevan Turner to whip the ball in. Into box. Heads over. But it doesn't matter. We are through now, officially. Whew, what a substitution that was. Made one sub all game. And that changed it. 
Oof, that is mad. Right, so as I promised, I'm going to give the young lads the run out against Gloss at North End. Just so you guys can have a look at him. So I can have a look at him as well. Because I did miss the match when they were coming up against the under-23s. Or whatever team they played. So we need to have a watch on him. And that is secure. That is official now. We've secured the playoff spot. Let's get into the game against Glossop and end the regular season. Right, so into the final game against Glossop. We've already beat these once this season, so hopefully we can win again. This is the final. This is the lineup we're going with. So we've got new boy Heller in goal. We have Greg and also you play at right back with Al Hog and Rye at the back. With Mike, Flad and Zinko, our new Slovenian. Is he Slovenian? He is Slovenian. So we've got a Slovenian youth player there. We have Birk on the right hand side, but I'm actually going to change that out for for Harry. No, Harry. So we've got Harry, new boy Emmanuel, and Gabby up top. Let's get into this game now. And let's just finish this season and get ready for the playoffs. And we are underway. Final game of the season. Let's hope these young lads can give a good thing of themselves. Craig's been booked already, but that's fine. Everyone gets booked every now and then. So we have corner. Harry ups it in. It's cleared to their ward, who's in number eight. Wraps up to Ellis. Greg can't close him. 1-0 down to Glossop. Young lad in goal couldn't stop it. Okay, that's fine. We're still in playoffs, that's all. We can't drop out of them. So, we're absolutely fine there. Mike to Greg. Gives it in to Emmanuel. He's offside. That would have been a brilliant introduction for the young winger. Wow. Wow, the cracking ball as well. Oh my god, I can't click on the shots button here. Show some passion. That would, that would have been a brilliant start for him. Can we at least go to our time at 1 0? Coffee and Cog off, he is absolutely shattered. Right, half time. Tell him the deployment is disappointing. Where's your passion, lads? Tactics. Let's bring Cog off. He is, he is tired, so. Probably the US move to make at the moment. Let's go out and demand more. They're attacking on the right hand side now. Ward who heads it to Zinko. Into Mike. Out to Emmanuel. Emmanuel whips it in. Gabby! 1 1. Come on, lads. This is what I want to see. This is what I want to see. Emmanuel. Pops on the right hand side. Gives it away. Mills. Wardy. Can we just clear it, lads? Hella with a save. Brilliant save by the young lad. I'm actually rather liking these young players. They get they give it a good good account of themselves. Keeper punches it out. Howard to to Hui and Matthews. At the field house he's offside, surely. Yeah, he was offside. Right, let's bring us up on. We're gonna pull Emmanuel back to here and then bring on David the Bear. Actually no, I'm gonna play him up there. You need, you need to get used to the formation. I'm going I'm going to start training him to play that for me, play that position, so why not just put him there? So we'll stick with that for now. And then see if he can do anything. And I might go a bit defensive later on. Or might even go more tacky and bring box on. We're going to about 80 minutes. If nothing's happened by then, I will make that final sub. Nothing much is happening now. 
Right, so I'm going to make that sub. I'm going to push Mike up there. I'm going to bring him off, replace him with Box. Push him up there. And then bring Harry into the middle, put Gabby on the wing. That's what I'm going to do. And then go very attacking as well, just try and get a final goal. It looks like it just could be a 1 1 draw. Oh no, they've got the ball now. Well, sure. The throw. Ellie throws it in. Field house. Pretty wide, luckily. Is this going to be it? Went to four went to the fourth minute of Addy time now. There we go boys. We we finished fourth this season. I'm happy with that. I'm well happy with that. So like I said at the beginning guys, we have got some new kits. Um just about I'm going to show you the pictures of the kits. Uh, there's going to be a straw poll in the description down below. Do, don't forget to go and pick your favourite kit. Please just pick one home kit, one away kit, one third kit. Just so I know what you like. Um, and yeah, as the start of the next season, I will show you the kits in-game what you guys have chosen. So guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Also, don't forget to click the little bell next to the subscribe button so you know exactly when this series is going live. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.